Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2018 film The Marshes, and this one is a Shudder original. So big shout out, thank you to Shudder for providing me with screeners for this one and for everything, because going forward, I'm going to try to do all the screeners that they will provide. So um, this one was written and directed by a Roger Scott who doesn't have much of any sort of credits on IMDb, and a lot of it's kind of like, sh it looks like it's maybe short films or something, I don't know. Stuff that I'm not familiar with, uh, and there's not much. It's an Australian horror film, and that's probably why it was a 2018 film, and now we're just about to get it on Shudder. So when I'm recording this, it's a few days before the actual Shudder release of it. The release of it is Thursday the 9th um, of January 2020. So, this is going to be a no-spoilers uh, thing, although... I don't know. I mean, it's going to be no spoilers, I, and that's just because if anyone wants to watch it, go ahead and watch it, um, but you can watch, you know, this review that I'm doing and then go watch it, and nothing will have actually been spoiled for you as far as the actual events of the film and the story. Now, I, w I am going to say I don't recommend this film. I actually thought this was a slog. Uh, this film much like the water in marshes, was very stagnant. And I don't know why Shudder spent their money on this, to be honest. So I feel bad saying it because Shudder provides me with these screeners. And they have a lot of awesome stuff, but this is just... I don't know. But let me let me get into it. I don't... What I gave you backstory-wise is, is all the extra information I have about the film. There's not a whole lot extra to it because it's such a new film. And like I said, I'm not going to throw out any spoilers here, so there you go. Uh, the opening is a biology-related visual, actually. And it the opening of this, the, the beginning visuals are actually very, very cool. They look very good. That is the best part of the film by far. Uh, it was very inspired, some really good camera work, and it just looked really good really really good uh goes way downhill after that um so i feel like the biologist characters in this are painted as super nerds early on which kind of feeds into something in general that's going on in this film which is there are very basic characters in it who are very stereotypical for who they're supposed to be and there's not a whole lot of development or anything they're very face value they're not very interesting there's not a lot going on between them it's Everything is very blah. It's like cardboard. Now, that said, the acting is actually pretty solid. So I kind of feel for the actors involved in this film because they did a good job with what they were given. The issue is there's not a whole lot of story there. It's not very well written. It seems like it was maybe should have been a short film. I don't know. But there's, there's not a feature-length film here. There really isn't. But... I'll talk about that a little bit more as, as I go on. It's very slow. It's very boring. It is an unbelievable slog of a film, and I cannot recommend it at all to anyone. To anyone. I'm sorry. Uh, so one of the biologists in this rails about population of humans actually going unchecked, and this is one of the moments I actually kind of liked dialogue-wise because this is something I've personally talked about for a long time about the impending doom and the huge issue of the human population not being in check. Now, I'm not saying that from the standpoint of thinking, saying that we should like be euthanizing people and stuff like that. I don't think that. I just think that we should have an open discussion in society about, you know, maybe you don't want to have a lot of children. You know, maybe just if you're going to have children, have one so that the couple is being pared down over time to just one person instead of once those two people die or just replace yourselves. Just have two kids. But when you're having more children, it's just adding to the population. I know this is my little soapbox thing and I apologize for that, but it it's more of a just thinking ahead type thing. At some point, the Earth's not really going to be able to withstand the giant population that just keeps growing and growing and growing there's only so many resources and then there's going to be lots and lots of problems like famine and war and blah 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 not like we don't already have that but it shall be even worse but anyway sorry for talking about that it's just a, a thing that this film brought up and i was like yeah you know it's that's something i i've talked about plenty of times in my life uh so these people don't seem to work much that's one of the weird things that kind of popped up. They're kind of like, 
hey, we're going to go do our job as, as biologists, and then they get to where they're supposed to do their job, and you're like, hmm, they're not really doing a whole lot of work. They're mainly just hanging out, drinking, and camping. <laughs> is this what their job is? I don't know. I do know some people who don't really work all that hard at their job, so maybe they're just like them. I don't know. It just didn't seem to jive. It was very weird. Uh, they overdo it with some deliverance references at one point. Uh, the first reference they make, it's in like one scene and it, it it's not like drawn out, but there's like one reference to deliverance that I was like, oh, that's, you know, kind of funny-ish. And then they drop two more references, like this kind of, wait, 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 did you get it? No, no, no. I mean, did you get it? And you're just like, okay, one reference was more than enough. Now you're sounding desperate stop it was it's just too much like just do the reference and move on and people will get it people will get it you don't need to beat it to death like things in this movie are beaten to death uh there's way too much hanging out going on in this and not enough of moving any sort of story forward there's not a whole lot of story there in the first place there was a lot of promise in the setup of where things could have gone they didn't really go anywhere but there's a lot of wasted time and they could have spent that time moving a story forward but it, there's none like i said in the beginning much like the water of marshes it's stagnant it's just there there's just nothing happening for the longest time at some point there is something happening but even when something finally happens it starts to stagnate with the same types of scenes being replayed over and over and over and over again and you're just like this is nothing new. Why are we continuing to do the same thing over and over and over again? It does nothing for the film except make it awful and slow and unwatchable. Unwatchable. Uh, the, so I wrote nothing. In, nothing really interesting happens in this film until about fifty minutes in, and the runtime for this film is an hour and twenty-five minutes. That's inexcusable. That's ridiculous. 50 minutes in is when you actually throw in an interesting concept and it's an hour and 25 minute film. You can't do that. That's short. An hour and 25 minutes is actually short. Now, the, when you watch this film, it feels super long because it's so boring, but you have to, you have to throw something interesting in very, very early. If it's only like an hour and 25 minutes, I mean, really, like, don't wait too long. I, I would say the longest I would wait is like maybe 15 minutes in to, to introduce something interesting. But 50 minutes, that's not, it. no, 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 no. And even then, when it does that, it does something interesting and then it kind of backs off a bit. And then, like I said, it, they just keep replaying the same types of scenes. Even though there's something going on, they're just repeating these scenes. They're all very similar and you're just like, okay, can we have something different or new? Like, is there something to this story, really? I guess not. Uh, there are some cool wildlife sh wildlife shots in this, and the locations look good. That's one of the things. There are some really cool, inspired cinematography moments where you know they're focusing on some creatures, or they're focusing on just like the beauty of the marshes and you know the the surrounding areas, and it, and it looks really good at times, but that's only going to go so far as it's not a national geographic show. It's, it's supposed to be a movie an engaging horror movie. And it is not. So overall, the camera work is not good. Like I said, I just said there are some nice cinema cinematography moments, but those are very small, just a few of them. And, uh, this is an unbelievably shaky m movie. It, it's so weird. Like, I, I, you can tell they're not using a tripod for a majority of the film, and but the amount of movement, like it's swaying back and forth a lot and just moving so much. I have never seen so much camera movement in a horror film that's not a found footage film. And that's inexcusable because it takes focus off what's going on. It can make people nauseous. That's another thing because the amount of motion with the camera in this, I could easily see making people nauseous. And it's just distracting. It looks terrible. I have not seen bad camera work like this in a long time in a movie. It's, in, like I said, it's inexcusable. It is inexcusable. There are tripods. If you cannot keep it still, use a tripod. You don't even need to have 
a tripod, stack up some boxes and put the camera on top of it. Get creative, do something. If you can't tell this movie, I want my time back. <laughs> Characters are very basic and uncomplicated, nothing to care about. Like I said before, these are flat characters. There's no sort of development, really. It's couldn't care less about them. Kill them all. Uh, seems like there wasn't much of a script, and they just kind of winged it a whole lot when they were making this. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. Much like the characters, when they go out to do their job, they get out there and they just start drinking beers and hanging out and camping. It's kind of what I think was going on with this film being made to be honest, because really there's not a whole lot of story there. There's not a whole lot going on. There's so much wasted time. It's so stretched out. It's, it's just, it seems like they winged it a lot. So this was a short film at best. Uh, you can't stretch just anything to a feature length. Uh, there's potent, there was potentially a good idea here. Uh, that could have been a, made a movie somewhere in the script, but this movie is certainly not it. Doesn't even come close. Cannot recommend it. It's bad. Um, this really pains me to kind of have this verdict on the film because I went into it and I really, anytime I get these screeners from Shudder, especially when it's like a Shudder exclusive or a Shudder original, I really hope for the best. I really want to like these films because I really like Shudder and they do great things, obviously. I mean, I've devoted a lot of my channel on YouTube to Shudder, so there's great stuff. But not everything's going to be good and this is probably the least interesting worst movie I've reviewed on my channel thus far, to be honest. And that's saying, no, that's not actually saying a lot, to be honest. I was going to say that's saying a lot. No, it's not. Because I've actually, I review, I try to review movies that I like when I'm choosing them or ones that I really think I'm going to like or are so bad they're fun and awesome. So um, this is that, that element of since I'm just accepting screeners, just saying send me all the screeners, you really don't know what you're going to get. It's, it's, it's a grab bag, and this is my first, like, real poop. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not digging it. Can you tell that I didn't like this film? I hated this film. No, I can't recommend it for anyone. So uh, in on a five-star scale with half stars in play, half star. I mean... That's the lowest I'm going to give, too. Like, I don't give zero stars. I'm giving it a half star. It is my lowest. I mean, yes, there was... Um, I could have bumped it up to one star, and I thought about doing that just because there were some nice-looking scenes, and the acting was actually pretty solid, but all the other issues are just so inexcusably bad, it's especially the shaky camera work. I mean, jeez, that I just... Half star. So, sorry, um, I would love, though, to hear some opinions in the comments if there's anyone who likes this. You know, I'm passionate when I give my reviews, uh, mostly, I mean, well, not mostly, but especially passionate when they're films that I really don't like or rub me the wrong way. So, you know, don't take offense to that if you're watching this and you're like, well, I really like that. There's nothing wrong with you. This is all, you know, subjective. This is all just from my own opinion, and I understand that people are going to like this film. The, definitely there will be people who like this film, and I'm not passing any judgment on you. That's fine. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of films that I really love that people would be like, are you kidding me? One of them maybe being the film Hackers. There's something about it. So anyway, put some comments down there. Let me know your thoughts on this film. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you'd like to, if you like this video or any videos I do. And the big thing is please help me out. Hit that subscribe button. I really want to grow my channel, have more interaction with people, talk about horror more. And I'm not making money doing this, so your way to repay me is just by hitting that like, and it's quick and painless, and thank you. But anyway, thanks for checking this video out. Until next time, keep it brutal.